So today we have just a little demo on some little projects. Um, these are just uh, some from the past. Uh, you may have noticed the chess piece assignment. It's kind of like a game token on those. The idea being I just wanted you guys to be able to make some small sculptures. And that's usually a cool way to, to begin is just making some uh, chess pieces or game tokens. These ones are pretty cool. The person kind of went over and above on that sort of thing. It doesn't necessarily have to be that complicated. I mean, they're, they're kind of cool, uh, being able to make just little little pieces that you can use. Maybe you're going to make some homemade Monopoly pieces or uh, Risk or something. Risk has a lot of pieces on those. Maybe maybe not Risk. Um, but you want to make some some game tokens or something like that. Um, but the idea being you're, you're working small and small sculptural sort of things. Let me show you a little bit of an example of how to make some of these things. And, and you can search on the internet and find um, images of, of game tokens or chess pieces. There's, there's a lot of traditional sorts of things out there. Let's see, I need a chunky plate. And here's, here's the easiest, easiest way to go about doing this. Make sure I'm working in the right spot. Um, you can start out, a base is always good, right? And so if you take and you just roll out a ball of clay and you just squish it flat in a circular motion, all of a sudden you've created a flat little disc. That's a pretty, a pretty easy sort of a thing to do. And so that's what's going to be my base. Then you can take and you can, you can roll out a little coil. Remember, this was, was not supposed to be complicated. And I'm going to flatten the ends on it. Maybe maybe a little bit bigger. I'm looking at that base. So that, that that's a little bit of a bigger piece here. Let's let's roll out one that's just a little bit bigger. And so we're rolling out just a a coil, but I want it somewhat tapered. On that, we're going to tap the end. That might work out well for what I'm trying to do. And then um, anytime you join things together, this is the other thing we're working on. Even if it's small, if you can just score the edges that are going to be joined. So that part's going to be there. That part's going to be here. And a little bit of slip. That's step number two. So scoring, step number one. Slip, step number two. And then finally, pressure, step number three. And so I'm going to just push down on it like that. So now I have the, the game token and the piece. Got to move it over a little bit to the center. So I got, I got the base and I got a body on it. Let's put another, uh, if you're making something, let's say a little bit more traditional uh, sort of a game piece. I'm going to make a pawn here. I would like you to make two different pieces. And when I mean different, I mean different. I don't want two pawns um, if you're making chess pieces. Make, make a pawn and then make a, make a bishop or something. Those are pretty similar, but they're at least a little bit different. So I'm doing the same thing. I rolled out a a slab or a, a ball and then I just made a little a little disc and just by stacking the various things together you know you can make you make a cool game token uh, the, the thing that, that makes this work really well is when the pieces aren't necessarily all blended together but they're they they look like they're they're diff distinctive pieces that have been added to one another now this one so here we go, right? I got a game, I got the the base, I got a I got a body. Now I, I guess this is part of the neck on this. And then finally the piece de resistance on that one. Uh, for making a pawn. Everybody knows that a pawn has a has a round head on it. Okay, so I'm gonna do that as well. Uh, so then I got that little piece here. And then we're going to go here. Now you could make a whole set. Uh, my requirement is only two. And you can make them fairly simple. Uh, this, this one is not complicated. Uh, but you can make them more complex. Um, I've had people do, um, instead of one that is a single stacked figure, so something like that. Not, not too bad. And so that could be my pawn piece on that. Um, you could go something more rectangular, right? And, and putting some designs and some marks on it. It doesn't have to be a traditional game piece of uh, like this one is, but it could be something a little bit more, like I said, a little bit more complicated. This one, kind of traditional, but it has kind of this flamey looking thing going on the top. Um, this one, 
you can tell it's a little bit of a piece. It has a little bit of a uh, some designs on the side here um, with it. So that and so that's basically it on making the the chest pieces. It's 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 not too terribly complicated, um, but it is working with sculpture in the miniature. Um, you notice none of these these pieces were huge, 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 huge on that one. And you you can kind of just kind of go what you feel. You're making a shape. So well, well, let's start out with a base on that one, right? And so I make a base. And what would be cool on that one if I made made that? Maybe I don't go round on this one. Maybe the next one I have. Uh, I do this. I take there's a coil. Oops. There's another coil. There's another coil. And then I take my three coils and then I do something like this. I could keep them like that. I guess that'd be kind of cool. But what if you did something where it's just a little twisty? Mr. White, that's twisted. Yeah, you're right. Okay, gotcha. I guess that's kind of cool where I like that, huh? I was thinking, well, maybe I'll cut off the top, but maybe maybe it's kind of cool just to have um, those those tapered pieces come out like that. I'm going to smooth that one coil out that was trying to break. Now, that's not a great great base to thing. Maybe if we squish it down, that'll that'll work. And I don't have a copyright on any of these images and stuff like that. I think you'll find that if you search the internet, you'll find lots of different ideas uh, for um, chess pieces. If you just Google chess pieces, um, that would be there'll be lots of things that show up. <laughs> and keep this twisted and kind of push down a little bit on that. Maybe I do a whole twisted thing here, and so that's that might be like like a bishop piece right like that and maybe I, I cut it off right there and put a little ball on top for the thing but that's kind of a cool little game piece and so um, I'm going to leave it up to you and using your inventive imagination on how to create the game pieces um, but that's it not too complicated pretty cool uh, like I said if you want to make a whole set I give you bonus points for making a whole set uh, if you have some have the time to do that um, uh, but just just two just two pieces on that that are they're similar enough to each other that you see they belong to the same set is what we're after and I think that's it so let's either glaze 